All right, before I do anything, I promised Decisive that I'd finish this section of the mountain right here because his base is right there. So, yeah. So, I, I really like it. It uh, I, I like the steepness of it, and on the other side, it's, like, super smooth. I think, like, actual mountains in real life, uh, like, that are pretty smooth on one side are pretty steep on the other just by how, like, you know, the planet works. <laughs> yeah. Tectonic plates and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, it, I mean, I think it looks really, really good. It, like, it adds some um, kind of randomization to it, especially over here, how... It, like this, this one is a bit, a bit more prevalent than the other one, but All right. yeah, I think it looks really good. All right, that is going to be our mountain portion of the episode done. So yeah, thank you to Decisive for joining me for that little part there, and hopefully we can work on some other projects in the future. All right, moving on now to the hockey arena. Uh, I would like to get some work done on this project today because it has kind of stagnated in this stage. As you can see, we have the walls up. I have worked on these deep slate pillars that go all the way around the building, but yeah, we need to get some more kind of basic stuff done, including the dome, which definitely uh, needs some work. I would like to kind of finish off this kind of pillar, or not pillar, I guess this uh, support beam. So if you can imagine, we're going to pretty much connect that top part duplicate this onto that side so it's a dome pretty much and then we're gonna have one from over there connect to over there and so on and so forth from like every single one of the corners and they're all gonna connect up there in the center and that's pretty much just gonna be the support beams for the dome so yeah uh, it's not as simple as you might think because I have to pretty much come up with a perfect design or not design it's like this shape that I have to copy that looks good <laughs> from every single one of these sides but I think once that's done it's going to be pretty self-explanatory from the way on out from that because you know this is going to be an entire glass dome and that's how the light's going to get in so it's pretty important that I don't screw this up so enough talking I'm going to get to work now and hopefully in a little bit the dome will be underway all right check it out the support beams are finished i actually just went ahead and finished them and uh, yeah it looks pretty cool from down in here i can't wait to get the ceiling like completely done in with the glass i actually talked with drew and we're gonna do white stained glass and by the way in the last clip i don't know if i said it but i did use gray concrete to build these uh, if you couldn't already tell uh, so yeah, a whole lot of concrete in this build, and we're going to have to get even more because I chose white concrete as the block that we're going to use for the walls here. As you can see, I've been doing a lot of work in this place, especially on the roof and the floors. So yeah, if you can picture, this entire place is going to be filled in with white concrete. Uh, actually, it's going to go really well with the deep slate because this is kind of like a rough textured block, and the concrete is very smooth. I also might throw in some quartz in there to mix it up, uh, but we'll see about that. But yeah, this is turning into one of my favorite builds so far. Very uh, grand looking from the outside, and even with the like open concept with no walls, it does feel kind of cool uh, letting all the light come in through here. But yeah, uh, it's going to take a lot of time to get this finished. I, I kind of want to work on it more today, so you know what? I think I'm going to do like a montage or something like that. Uh, try to get a little bit more work done. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit We're back. We got most of the walls in. As you can see, I actually went with a orange and blue line along the sides. I think it looks pretty good. Kind of makes it a little bit more interesting. 
but we're still not finished with the front. Uh, you might be wondering what's going to go in this giant section right here. And we actually know what we're going to put there. It's going to be a logo. It's going to be the Cornerstone logo. So uh, if you've ever seen that before, it's in the top corner of some people's videos. And we're just going to put that right front and center there. And I think Drew wants to work on that. So you might see that next time we work on the arena. But yeah, I'm going to take a break from the arena project for now. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you can't hear the sound audio and you're wondering why you can't really hear the Minecraft, what's going on in the game, I don't know why either. It's just not working right now. <laughs> um, that's Elgato for you. But yeah, we're going to move on to something else now. So here in the shopping district, there used to be this shop where Hicks sold his llama steaks. And uh, it was protested by Nellis where she sells her llamas like right over there. And uh, he's changed it up. Inside here you can see it looks a little bit different. And there's actually a competition going on. So over at Hicks's base, he has a little thing where for five diamonds you can build something. He has like these plots and you're going to build like a small house. And yeah, if we read this, welcome, this is a competition entry at Hicks's base, under the train tracks next to the path, I want you to build anything medieval. The borders marked out are guidelines, so try and stick with the size plot you picked. You can build up two times. Competition will end one week after four people have entered. So I don't know how many people have entered yet, but uh, I would like to enter and try and see if I can win. So yeah, let's do that. I'm just going to go with one build for now, so let's put in five diamonds. And there we go. So we will actually go over to Hicks's base now and actually start the project. Alright, here we are. I just came out of this portal and I don't know which way to go because there's Hicks's base over there, but this path is leading this way. And I have not been over here yet, at least in a very long time. So yeah, I want to check this out. What is this? Nellis's Bunker Snack. Oh, you know, I think this is actually Matt's house. I think I know where I am now. Okay. This is Matt's house. Okay, cool. All right, let's go over to Hicks's base now. I can tell it's his base because of the huge train tracks line. And this is the spot that I was talking about. These are all the plots right here. All of these wool squares all over the place so yeah we can just go ahead and pick one and then i guess start building but before i do that i really quickly want to see hicks's base i haven't been over here in a long time so i want to check it out hopefully i'm not spoiling anything i'll let him know that i'm recording this but yeah if we walk through here over this path it's gonna start to come up it is crazy i i remember just seeing it on video how big this place is. Okay, so this is... This must be his actual nether portal. Uh, I must have found mats or something, so... I'll go through that when I have to leave. But this is the main gate. Let's walk on through. So this is like the medieval style that I think Hicks wants. So, very... Uh, high slanted roofs. I'll take notes of kind of what he likes and then maybe I'll use that to my advantage I'll try to copy what he's doing over here not exactly copy but just take you know a little bit of inspiration oh, I love the trees oh I just noticed these are all custom look at that and this is the giant hole if I remember yep <laughs> oh man I wonder what is going on down there I see a villager I think his villager breeder must be down there or something yeah, this is all new to me. Look at this place. This is awesome. Hicks is working over here like crazy. I want to check this out really quickly. Looks like he's got an item sorter down here. This must be like his future storage room or something. But yeah, very cool design. Love the deep slate. One of my favorite blocks. Alright, so we just got the house finished as you can see here. Nothing much, just a little cottage. But I did spend a bunch of time working around on the details and the landscaping here. And hopefully Hicks likes what I did here. 
Uh, I thought it would be kind of a cool idea to have like maybe like a waterfall coming up through the mountains and it kind of flows down into this pond down here. But yeah, nothing too much. We just got like a little bridge going across, uh, some wheat and like some tall grass just to kind of add some details and blend it in with the surroundings. And I also on this side put another smaller pond with a little campfire and some seats. So maybe just like a little area to sit down. With the actual build, we used mushroom blocks for like the walls. We have oak logs for the corners and for the roof is just a deep slate mix of polished deep slate kind of splotched around in there. And uh, yeah, we have like a spruce and trapdoor finish on the sides. But on the inside is nothing much really. Uh, not much space to work with in here uh we did put a fireplace in though with a bed and a huge painting <laughs> and of course it starts to rain but yeah you can actually see i did add the fireplace on the outside too but that is my build for hicks's competition hopefully he likes how it turns out and uh hopefully some other people start to work on their builds and then the competition will start to go underway Alright everybody, welcome back. We have a few more changes on the hockey arena, so let's go check them out. First of which on the front entrance here, we have a lot more white concrete as kind of like the backdrop wall. And I just realized that I forgot concrete right there. Let me fix that. Alright, that's better. And also, if you remember, we're going to have a giant cornerstone logo right up there in the center. So... Yeah, it should be done by the next time you guys see this. I think what I'm going to do is just run through really quick and kind of point out the things that I've worked on or what I'm going to work on. Uh, first of which, these tunnels. So you see that they're stone brick now. I think I'm going to change them to white concrete. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll keep them stone brick. It kind of does give off a different kind of vibe. You can kind of tell. You know, like, have you ever been a subway? Not like a subway restaurant, but like a, I don't know. You get what I mean. Uh, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. On the other side over here, I have been testing the white concrete walls. And they do look pretty clean with the sandstone floors. Uh, it's not done up there, but over here is a better example. Like this view right here. If you can imagine, just a hallway like that. And then we'll have like, of course, we'll have like decorations on the walls to kind of make it a little bit more interesting. And of course, I cannot ignore what we have going on here. So the idea behind this giant hole in the wall is that it's going to be kind of like an open layout balcony. So you can kind of walk out here. Uh, if you if you can imagine, there would be like stands for food. People can get their food. And then there'd be like a bunch of tables and seating out here. Because we got this beautiful view of the ocean along with the shopping district on this side. And I thought it would be kind of cool to utilize that and open it up more and also give a little bit of sunlight in here because you know it's a very kind of dark and dim stadium and opening up this area and making it more uh, friendly I guess for the fans would be a good experience overall uh, the creepers in here would definitely ruin the experience if there were any sort of fans but yeah I'm gonna expand on this idea a little more I haven't even really gone over this with Drew so if he doesn't like this, I might just tear this whole thing down. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, I am going to move on over to the back section here. Uh, the walls, as you can see, have been pretty much completed on these sides. Right here and right there. So that looks pretty good. But what does not look good is this back section here. I've been keeping this like a secret from everybody. Um, this looks pretty bad. <laughs> I need to get something worked on over here maybe like because actually as you can see we got the awesome scoreboard that chuckles built a few months ago now and it kind of sticks out just a little bit too much you can see this is like the wall here and it sticks out another like four or five blocks so i'm gonna have to make a part that kind of juts out of the side uh 
it won't be hard to do at all and actually it's kind of a good thing because it's going to make the back look a lot more interesting other than a giant flat wall so yeah definitely got to work on that in a little bit but we got one more thing to quickly go over uh, which is the dome which i have actually worked on I didn't think I was going to get any progress on this done today, but I just went ahead and got a bunch of glass together. And as you can see from the front here, it doesn't look too bad at all. I'm actually liking how this looks. Got a bunch of white stained glass everywhere. Uh, I asked Drew if that was okay to go with, and he said go ahead. So, yeah, I do like the white stained glass. And let's quickly just get a view from the inside. So, yeah, if you can imagine, that's how it's going to look all the way around. I think it looks so cool. What do you guys think? I'm going to try and get some more work done on this thing today. So, especially on the back there. I would like to get it so that you cannot just directly see outside. <laughs> so, hopefully a wall will get put up along with a little bit more work on the dome. So, yeah, see you guys in a little bit. Alright, welcome back. A few days have passed and we have a bit more to check out. I believe I said earlier that I wanted to work on mainly this back wall here and i did get a bit of it done so yeah check that out you can see that it kind of towards like the middle there it kind of makes like a slant and then goes straight up which i do like and also the wall is kind of curved a little bit you can see that goes two blocks then three blocks then three two and so on and yeah it just does that because earlier i said that this scoreboard redstone here kind of sticks out a little bit too far so yeah that's why we had to do that but it actually looks really good i like how it turned out and then once i get in the stripe that goes across and then just the top part of the white then it will be done i think but yeah that's it for the back wall uh moving on now to the dome which i got a lot more done on especially this section right here which is completely done yeah, check that out. I really like how that turned out. This is going to look so cool. I'm just so excited to get this dome done. It's going to look so awesome from down in here. It just takes up so much glass to do, and with glass comes a bunch of sand. I already ran out of two double chests full of sand just for the concrete and for the glass, so I'm going to have to go back and get more. But it's very worth it, though. Uh, I'm liking how it's turning out so far, and uh, hopefully you guys are, too. I just... Man, this is crazy. Probably one of my favorite projects I've ever worked on, ever. Like, it's just so fun. I don't know what it is about this. Maybe it's just because it's like a hockey arena, and I love hockey, and it's just, there's something, there's so much different things you can work on. Like, I could work on the windows in the front here, I could work on, like, the inside and, like, detailing and stuff, or I could just grind out huge projects like the dome, which take forever. I don't know, it's just, there's always something different with this massive project. Um, but yeah, moving on from that, we worked a little bit on this deck here that I talked about earlier. Uh, pretty much all I did was add this railing along the sides just so people, you know, don't hop off. I mean, technically they could, but let's just pretend that they can't. Uh, and then also I, there was like this strip of cobblestone that went along where the wall used to be right here. And I just took that out. And lastly, you can see that we have this hallway is done you can see i put the white concrete up and actually you can see better from down in here see this whole section used to be open and now you can't see through which i guess it's better it used to be kind of cool that you could see into the hallway but i guess it makes more sense like that and i double checked the scoreboard still works so nothing is broken i hope i didn't check that side but i think it's all still working I would feel super bad if that broke because Chuckles worked so hard on that. <laughs> and if I messed up something and just like ruined a bunch of his time, that would suck. But I think we're good um, for now. This episode has been crazy. We worked on a ton of stuff and hopefully you guys enjoyed. Super happy with the progress that we made on the corner dome. And uh, yeah, hopefully by next episode, the dome will be, I guess, uh, a lot more complete. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.